Hey there, how y'all doing? This Weapons Tech Mac coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas. And tonight, I'm going to do a little review of this Springfield Armory XDS Mod 245 OSP. Now, before I get too far into this video, there's a disclaimer I've got to make because I've done a lot of the shooting and things like that previous to this introductory. And uh, I don't know why it got stuck into my head to call it an OCP, Mod 245 OCP. So when you hear me saying that, particularly when I'm uh, out there at the range, I don't know, they're cracked in the head or something. But this is a Springfield Armory XDS 45 Mod 2 OSP. Okay, so <clears throat> first off, let's make sure she's all empty and all of that stuff it is so <clears throat> this is a new acquisition of mine i personally thought i'd kind of gone away from these single stack 45s these little pocket cannons but i picked this up about a month ago it was on sale and uh usually these are going for about 560 and I think I picked this up for 529 and it's got the crimson trace red dot and uh, you know up to this point in time I've had one gun I think I did a review it was a Glock 17 MOS with the red dot and I just uh, I just couldn't get get that but when I saw this I'm like oh let's give her a try and I'm enjoying this one. This is a damn good gun, I'll tell you. Matter of fact, it's kind of snuck into one of my preferred carry guns. It's real comfortable to carry. Uh, you know, you got a little hand cannon. <clears throat> now, it does have a bit of a recoil, a little bit of a snap, especially when it's as small as it is. I mean, look at the size. Just the size of my hand, not the size of a shield. Um, of course, it's an XDS. But uh, let's kind of give you a closer look at this thing. Um, here it has the Crimson Trace red dot. I don't know if you'll be able to see that in there. I don't know how, maybe a little bit. But uh, this red dot obviously <clears throat> turns on at first movement, and then after a while, it's sitting unmoved, it turns itself off. Supposedly has 2,000 plus hour battery life. All I know is that the battery does go. It's kind of a pain to ask because you got to take the whole thing off to replace the battery. But uh, the positive thing about it is, is the red dot's in line with your iron sight. So, you know, even the red dot goes, you can still see those iron sights in there just perfect. And so it's not, you know, a, a game changer if you lose a red dot. You can still see the sights. It's still spot on but uh overall i've been pretty impressed with this pistol um really impressed like i said it's kind of snuck into my uh edc rotation it's a very comfortable gun to carry got me this cya kydex that just fits this thing like a glove it rides real tight up to you and uh, the print is very minimal. Um, gonna be a real good gun to carry when I'm, you know, getting into summertime. And uh, anyway, uh, it has a really nice trigger. It's an XDS. The XDS has always had a real good trigger. I'd say that's about a <clears throat> six pound trigger maybe. And reset. You go out about three quarters of the way out, reset. But that's just real nice. Uh, of course, it's got your safety trigger there. Um, other than that, there is no manual safety. Uh, slide release is on the left side, nothing on the right. Um, take down levers on the left side. It does have a rail. Uh, you can fit your light and your laser or whatever do you want on there. And uh, mag release is 
not too hard to get hold of. Mags drop right out. <clears throat> I've, as with most of my guns, put talons on this thing. I figure with the little hand cannon like this and a little bit of a snappy recoil that uh, talons a good idea. And uh, that's definitely something I agree with. Um, it's got good, pretty good rear striations. Uh, it could be better, I guess. I mean, it, get slick, greasy, sweaty hands. You know, I'd be holding on to that red dot to pull the slide back. I mean, those striations could be a little better. Um, the grip texture, of course, without the the talons is its mod two grip texture. I mean, I think the shields uh, plus and the shield mod two have the best grip texture. And I think Taurus G2s have pretty damn good grip texture too. Um, but uh, this could be better on that. Um, your sights, <clears throat> if you're not using the red dot, you got a light dot front sight and then that, that rear sight, um, blackout rear sight, I guess you call it. And uh, you comes with two magazines and five round. It's got a little pinky thing and it holds real nice. It has a good feel to it. And then this <clears throat> six round with a little extension on the bottom extends it out a bit. Still real nice to hold and uh, looks pretty good in the in the uh, holster. I know some people have problems either carrying five plus one or six plus one, but I mean, you go out there and look at 95% of the shootings where citizens had to protect themselves. 95% of them, you got less than six shots. And so, you know, you got that, I guess. I guess if you need more than that, you can carry an extra magazine, which I always do. <clears throat> Let's see, what else? <clears throat> Comes with a nice little bag. Uh, not so much a box, but a, a little you know, range case, if you will. And uh, comes with a little cover for your Crimson Trace laser. And I think that's just a sweet little setup. It's fun to shoot. Uh, like I said, it does have a little bit of a snap to it, but uh, nothing that's too bad. I mean, very accurate pistol. You see that from my uh, videos of <clears throat> having it out on the range shooting it. I shot it outside as well as inside, so you can see multiple times I've taken it out. And uh, it's just a good gun. I like it. Like I said, I never figured I'd be... <clears throat> heading in this direction, uh, but it's a very comfortable gun. It's a light gun, um, and it's a pleasure to shoot. So that's kind of my opening take on this Springfield XDS Mon 245 OSP. And uh, we'll kind of do a, a little breakdown tabletop, and then you'll see some range time that I previously filmed. Like I said, I don't know why I call it o OCP, but it's an OSP, but uh, we'll go to that end. All right, so let's kind of do a little deep dive on this guy. I found a little packet in the range bag. I don't know what you call it, that it came with. I mean, I guess it's a nice little zip cover to put it in, but I, I, I guess that's kind of misleading Springfield Armory since 1794. I guess the Armory for sure, but <clears throat> you'll see these things. Um, that this thing is made in Croatia. I mean, you know, XDS, XDM, all the XD lines made in Croatia, which is not anything new. But if you're thinking it's American made, it's not. So anyway, <clears throat> comes with two magazines. <laughs> That little bag there, and uh, that's about it. So let's give you the rundown on this thing. 
the XDS Mod 2 OSP 3.3 inch single stack 45 ACP handgun with Crimson Trace Red Dot. Okay, <clears throat> combining a single stack slimless with big bore power, the XDS Mod 2 OSP 45 is now optics ready. It comes with a factory milled slide for low profile direct mounting of compact optics and comes with a crimson trace micro red dot. The powerful EDC pistol features a 3.3 inch hammer forge barrel <clears throat> and passive grip safety. Of course, it's got that grip safety back there for confident carry uh, shipping with both five and six round magazine. The XDS Mod 2 OSP45 offers a new take on this trusted platform. And I guess they're, they're pretty much right on that. All right, so let's take a <clears throat> more in-depth look at the specifics on this thing. Of course, it's 45 caliber. Uh, it's black. The barrel's 3.3 inch hammer forward steel, stainless, melanite finish. Uh, Slide forward still metal knight finish frame black polymer with <clears throat> enhanced grip texture, which I think was the best. So I got my own talons going there. Sights white dot front, serrated rear, and then of course the crimson trace red dot. It does have a recoil system, it has a dual captive recoil spring with full length guide rod. The grip the width is. 0.9 inches magazine. Of course, there's one five and one six. Weight is 23 ounces. Uh, 24 ounces with the extended magazine. Of course, that's empty. Length, the total length of this thing is 6.3 inches. Height is 4.4 inches. Uh, five inches with the extended mag, and it goes in MSRP is about 560, which is. What you're seeing them go is a mid fives. Now this was introduced on not too long ago. And, uh, you know, I've been pretty impressed with it. It's a nice little guy and it's a very comfortable carry gun. Now what I'm going to do is kind of compare it with some of its contemporaries and show you, you know, your size in comparison with some other small carry guns. All right, so let's kind of do a little deep dive on this guy. I found a little packet in the range bag. I don't know what you call it, that it came with. I mean, I guess it's a nice little zip cover to put it in. But I, I, I guess that's kind of misleading Springfield Armory since 1794. I guess the armory for sure, but <clears throat> you'll see these things. Um, that this thing is made in Croatia, I mean, you know, XDS, XDM, all the XD lines made in Croatia, which is not anything new. But if you're thinking it's American made, it's not. So anyway, comes with two magazines, that little bag there, and uh, that's about it. So let's give you the rundown on this thing. The XDS Mod 2 OSP 3.3 inch single stack 45 ACP handgun with crimson trace red dot. Okay, <clears throat> combining a single stack slimless with big bore power, the XDS Mod 2 OSP 45 is now optics ready. It comes with a factory milled slide for low profile direct mounting of compact optics and comes with a crimson trace micro red dot. The powerful EDC pistol features a 3.3 inch hammer forge barrel <clears throat> and passive grip safety. Of course, it's got that grip safety back there for confident carry uh, shipping with both five and six round magazine. The XDS Mod 2 OSP 45 offers a new take on this trusted platform. And I guess they're, they're pretty much right on that. All right, so let's take a 
more in depth look at the specifics on this thing. Of course, it's 45 caliber. Uh, it's black. The barrel's 3.3 inch hammer forward steel, stainless, melanite finish. Uh, slide forward steel, melanite finish. Frame, black polymer with <clears throat> enhanced grip texture, which I think was the best. So I got my own talons going there. Sights, white dot front. Serrated rear, and then, of course, the Crimson Trace red dot. It does have a recoil system. It has a dual captive recoil spring with full-length guide rod. The grip the width is 0.9 inches. Magazine, of course, there's 1.5 and 1.6. Weight is 23 ounces, uh, 24 ounces with the extended magazine. Of course, that's empty. Length, the total length of this thing is 6.3 inches. Height is 4.4 inches, uh, 5 inches with the extended mag. And it goes in, MSRP is about 560, which is what you're seeing them go is a mid fives. Now, this was introduced on not too long ago. And, uh, you know, I've been pretty impressed with it. It's a nice little guy. And it's a very comfortable carry gun. Now what I'm going to do is kind of compare it with some of its contemporaries to show you, you know, its size in comparison with some other small carry guns. Yeah, Springfield XDS 45 on to OCP. So let's see how it does here. All right, let's run some some more on this XDS 45 Mod 2 OCP. Thing brings the mail, I'll tell you. Definitely got a little bit of a snap to it compared to the nine that I was shooting earlier. All right, so let's do a little wrap on this guy. Um, I think I've put about 200 rounds through it over the last, well, I've had it about a month now. And uh, I had a little bit of a break-in period, but uh, nothing major. It's been pretty much reliable for everything that I've shot through it. I've shot various kinds of jackets, hollow points, defense rounds, of course, ball ammo, um, full ball. It handles most. It handles pretty much everything. No problem. I think with the more rounds you put in it, <clears throat> the better off it'll be. Um, like I said, I, I trust it with my life. It's one of my EDCs now. And uh, it's just a real comfortable gun to to carry. I mean, that plays an important part. If you're having an EDC or you're, you're looking for a gun to, to carry on an everyday basis, if it ain't comfortable, you're not going to want to carry it. And so comfort is an important thing. You've got the right kind of holster that's not jabbing you in the back that you've got a gun that's not so bulky and that the fit of your uh, holster and the belt <clears throat> is correct that it's not dragging down um you know some guys <laughs> their pants are hanging off and and uh, anyway uh i've just found the perfect combination with the, the belt i use and that kydex there 
It's kind of interesting. I've kind of transitioned away from outside the, the waistband holsters to mostly how I carry nowadays is uh, inside the waistband. And I'm really liking the various Kydex that I use, whether it's infused Kydex with a little bit of leather on one side or just standard Kydex, uh, American Holster Company or CYA, any of those guys make some damn good products, especially the American made ones, the ones I trust. But uh, as for this, Damn good gun, um, fun gun to shoot, accurate gun, and uh, you know I know some people have issues with the the grip safety, but me coming from an old 1911 background as Navy and all that, you know having a grip safety is no big deal. I mean it's just natural. I it kind of adds a little extra peace of mind, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, if you run into these and you want to have a little pocket cannon to be able to carry and protect your life and the life of your loved ones, this might be one, uh, a good candidate. And, you know, I pick it up because I'm going to give it a, a multiple thumbs up. And, uh, yeah, good pistol. And so this is Weapon Stack Mac coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas. God bless Texas. God bless the United States. And long live the Republic.